Anderson. I'm president of the Royal Oak Historical Society. We're here at the museum, um, which is at the corner of Webster and Crooks here in Royal Oak. And today is the day of our car show. It's really exciting. We have over 50 cars here. We had 200 people here last night for the preview party. Um, the Royal Oak Historical Society is a private organization. We rely on donations and fundraisers and friend raisers, which is what we're all about, is getting people in to come in and see about Royal Oak's history. And this exhibit is going to be going on until September 24th. I'm Robert Edwards, and I curated the, the show here at the Royal Oak Historical Society Museum called Chrome, Fins, and Style. And what it is is a survey of, of American design in the automotive industry, an art form that's really unique to Detroit. These are the drawings that predate the actual production vehicle, the cars that everybody loves on Woodward in a couple of weeks here, they all began in the studio, they all began in the minds and the dreams of the car designers who would do the drawings, hundreds of drawings, until they found a drawing that they liked. It was pushed towards production. The typical lead time between the first drawings and a new model would be th three years. Uh, so these drawings were trade secrets because of that. Very few of them survive, less than 5% survive. They were not allowed out of the studios uh, because they were corporate secrets. The designers managed to save a few drawings. Uh, some designers managed to save nothing. Other di designers would save several hundreds of drawings. But still, it's a very rare art form and it's unique to Detroit. As this year, we decided to really uh, sort of highlight the uh, contributions of American Motor Design American Motors was formed in the mid-50s when Nash and Hudson emerged to form American Motors. Later on, they bought the iconic Jeep brand, Willys Jeep, in 1970. And they were a very small company. They were not, you know, as the size of the big three, but they were more nimble. They had to be quicker. Uh, they developed their products a little bit quicker. There were less layers of management. And they did some incredibly beautiful work uh, and important work as well. My name is Frank Pasco. I'm a retired um, clay sculptor from American Motors and Chrysler. Um, I've been in the business for 35 years and I, I believe that I drive what I build. This model right here is a 1973 Dodge Charger SE. It's an unrestored original survivor car. It's never been touched. It's as it came from the factory. Um, I bought this car because when I got my job at Chrysler, this was one of the first studios that I worked in, the B Body Exterior. And so I purchased this car because I, ha I had some help in designing the vehicle. And this car, it's, um, I bought this car 13 years ago. Um, it came from a private collection in Nebraska. When I bought the car, it had 2,700 miles on it, but it's not a trailer queen. I drive the car and it has 25,000 miles on it today. Um, I am connected with uh, today's ex exhibition. I'm one of the car stylist guys, and I, I was a clay sculptor for all those years. And in the exhibition, there are three clay models of which I, I'm responsible for all of those cars. That's my work. And um, I, styling and cars are my life. This is Dave Holt, and together we co-own this 1965 Buick Riviera Grand Sport. Uh, this was the uh, creation of uh, Bill Mitchell and uh, Ned Nichols at uh, General Motors as uh, GM's answer to the wildly popular Ford Thunderbird, which presented a new personal luxury type of uh, car. And uh, I've had several of these. I think I've had 11 Rivieras in my time. And uh, this particular example, uh, 65, um, was really uh, created as uh, Bill Mitchell, who we all know created the uh, Chevrolet Corvette Stingray, as well as other cars. This is as he originally envisioned it with the uh, concealed hideaway headlights, uh, kind of operates like a clamshell. This is one of uh, two Rivieras that uh, uh, Mr. Holt and I have together right now. So this is a really great car. It's got every available factory option on it and being a Grand Sport 
uh, with the first year Grand Sport option. It also has the uh, 425 engine with the two four barrels. I'll open the hood, give you a peek. So there you see the air cleaner and the two four barrels, 425 cubic inches, and uh, it's got a nice uh, tight, tighter suspension than the standard Riviera. And uh, it was known as the banker's hot rod in California back in the day, back in the 60s. And it offered one hell of a performance. So I'm uh, real pleased to be out here today at the Royal Oak uh, Historic Museum here at uh, Webster and Crooks. And it uh, should be a great day with some great exhibits inside by the uh, various artists and designers of AMC products. And uh, the beautiful uh, display of uh, Woodward Avenue as it used to be in the day. So we're looking forward to a great day here in Royal Oak. And this exhibit is going to be going on until September 24th. The museum hours are Tuesday, Thursday, Saturday from 1 to 4. So come on in and uh, we'd love to see you, everybody, come on in and see our museum and our exhibit. It's awesome.